um, Carol and Sam from the Trekkie Girls, uh, another event report from Fedcon mm -hmm. in Germany. Uh, it's final day, it's nearly finished. I'm so tired, Sam. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. It's very much fun though. We're having a great time. We're, we're sat outside at the moment. Um, this is um, what we'll see is a nice fountain. Everyone sits down, has a drink, mm -hmm. um, a bit of food. Um, yeah, it's very pleasant out here. Uh, it's been, I can't believe how quickly the time has gone. I know, gone. right? Yeah. I thought, it's a four day event. It's just yeah. so, um, that's going to be still epic and long, but it was like so quickly. Still epic, but yeah. not so short. Today we, we, we've been in panels quite intensive, haven't we, for the three days? Yeah. And so today we thought we'd have a bit of a chill and see other parts of the event. Yeah. We've been paying some visits to the vendors and mm -hmm. stalls around here. Uh, we went to see the ESA, the European Space Agency, mm -hmm. this morning because we missed their talk. It was, too, it was too early for us. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but uh, we met um, Matt from uh, the Earth Sciences Division. And yeah, he was fascinating and so optimistic. He was such a happy guy. I oh, know. I mean, we had a bit of a downer the weekend with what happened in London again, mm -hmm. and you know, it's put, put, put our Brits, you know. In a bit of a bit of, bit of a glum mood, but actually hearing someone talking about the Britain's contribution to the space agency, yeah. um, and also he was saying we were asking things about um, about what the political climate's doing yeah. to uh, the space industry, and he said actually it's one of the one areas of growth. Yeah, it's like they've found problems and made solutions to it, which is their job. Yeah, uh, and we heard about the Rosetta. Um, yeah. uh, mission to, um, to to capture comets and other objects uh, talking about moving space junk so yeah, yeah. Lots, lots of great work well, yeah really good and we just came away with it think, feeling really optimistic Missing about humanity <laughs> it really was yeah. it's really <laughs> smart good people out there doing great things every yeah. day um, and yeah it's and you know that's the other thing you know we had this horrible event Saturday night but um, in at home and Marina came on and did a talk oh. yesterday and just said, you know, Britain won't be defeated. Yeah. And she was genuinely really moved. She was really moved. Yeah. But the the um the feeling from the audience, the applause and yeah. the camaraderie, um, all there in the name of science fiction and the love of uh so bad you know, wanted to say better, just yeah. it really uplifted everyone. It was really so good, yeah. That was a really good yeah. part of being at a Star Trek convention. Mm. <laughs> Um, and who else was it? We saw Star Trek timelines today. We did. And um, yeah, best best stand oh. in Bedcon. Yeah, definitely so. We had a yeah, really lovely guys there. Yeah, really nice. Um, yeah, definitely pay visit to them. Uh, the the Star Trek roller coaster people mm -hmm. were here. Um, it's a grand opening sometime next month, or is it yeah, later? Yeah, maybe later this month. They might be yeah, opening so. formally. I think it's doing a soft opening at the moment. You might Ooh. be able to go on it, but. Mm. They're doing something fancy later to yeah. celebrate. And um, yeah, lots of stalls. We've been, um, it's the last day, which is always the most relaxed. Yeah. And we've been, um, we bought some great t shirts. We did. Oh. Actually, yeah, but we, let's show you, show you our t shirts. These are brilliant. <laughs> Green girl, awesome. spring break racer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we got some of those, um, which we were very pleased with. Yeah. And yeah, this afternoon we're going to go and do. Um, the Michael Dawn and the Gates McFadden talk. So yes. I'm really interested to see what those two come up to with because, like, it's not the natural pairing, I'd say. Yeah, right? did we ever see much of Worf and I mean, a Worf bit Dr. Crusher once on the face? Uh, that <laughs> happened, but <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's the closing ceremony. Yeah, uh, but yeah, last night we had a TNG talk, which was brilliant. Oh, wasn't it? so good, so funny. Lavar Burton is filthy. Oh God, he was so funny. It was, <laughs> it was so bad. We didn't put the story on Twitter. I wrote it. I wrote what he said, <laughs> and then I went, no, I no, can't do it. I just no. can't, like it doesn't. So if you want to know, come find us and ask. If I sent it, I would have thought people would have thought our account was hacked. Yeah. And like, no, Lavar did not say that. Don't no. say that he said that. But it was, it, he was filthy. <laughs> and it was hilarious. We yeah, it was so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna we're, we're we're a bit sad. It's finishing. Yeah. We're having a great time. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely come back again. And um, yeah, we look at our blog for the rest of a more, more in depth report. Yeah. Um, and what would you say? Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.